Hey, what's up? It's me, Jessica Jane. I was just wondering if you've ever sat and thought to yourself, Uh, Jessica, why hasn't she fallen for me yet? Well, if so, as usual, I'm glad you asked, because that's what I'm going to get over today, is why after all your time, effort, and energy, she's not reciprocating. And I make sure you never miss out on another opportunity to hear how women really work in the here or another one of my videos. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button with the notification bell. Okay, so there's five of these. Not that many, but still, you know, I like getting right to the point. And make sure you stay till the very end, because at the very I'm gonna tell you what you can do about it if she hasn't fallen for you fast enough to your liking or if you would prefer it to not have to put so much time effort and energy into getting women to falling for you so the first one is you don't make her laugh let's be real I think we all know just how much swab these funny guys have because look at motherfucking Pete Davidson swinging the D left and right just making bitches laugh making them drop their panties we women we need to laugh in your presence and we need you to make us laugh in order to feel those positive feelings from you. Once you can incite those feelings in a woman, that knee-jerk reaction, that positive knee-jerk reaction, that basically starts the cascade of emotions where she is cascadingly falling down for you. I'll tell you right now, for every one of my girlfriends who settled for a guy who was safe, they have admitted to me that they never really fell for him. They just kind of gave up on all the other funny guys because they ended up being assholes. So if you are not an asshole and you're still a funny guy, that's half the battle. Number two is you're actually no different than anyone else in her life. I said it once and I'll say it again. If you are no different than the supportive friend or the intimate family member or even the partner at work, then why the fuck would she fall for you if her relationship with you mimics somebody else in her life that she's never fallen for and never will fall for? I said it once, I'll say it again. The thing that we have with our significant other that no one else can give us is that desire, is that passion. And if you are not giving her any of those things that nobody else in her life is giving her, she's not going to feel that pull and that charge to come undone for you, which is exactly what falling for someone is, is just like letting loose, letting go and coming all over the place. Number three is she's too far fallen still for someone else. Too many of you guys like to be Captain save -a swooping in when some other guy done dropped this girl who was falling from the sky and you're like, I can be there to uh, fix her damaged wounds. It's not your job to fix her fucking wounds. And she done fallen for somebody else and she's down there. She's already at fucking rock bottom from falling for someone else. Where is she gonna fall to for you? Does that make sense? I'm telling you right now, that's where women start to settle for guys who are safer when they are still on the fucking ground having fallen for someone else. And really, you're just there picking her up. How can she fall for you if you're picking her up off the fucking ground? Think about it that way. Number four, uh, this is really interesting. Being with you isn't necessarily better than being by herself. If having a life with you or being around you is no different or no better than her hanging out with herself, she's not gonna feel anything different really. If you don't add added spice, added nuance, added fun, added excitement, added anything, she's not gonna step out of her life and then fall. That's just how it is. Which all of this is alluding to number five, there actually just really is no chemistry between you guys. Again, I talked about this idea idea of like that carnal desire, that one thing that nobody else in our lives can give us. It's that passion, that excitement, that intensity, that desperation. If we don't have that, it is almost impossible for us to fall for you. And if you know you're in a place where you're not motherfucking getting these girls to fall for you and chase you and shit, chances are you have no idea what the override effect is, which my former assistant Clayton details in this video right here. He talks about this idea of the female brain being overridden with emotion intensity and arousal in a way that trumps all logical thought. And that's what falling for you is, is letting go and fuck everything else and fuck whether or not this makes sense. I'm just letting go and letting him in the puss. So if you know you're not having this effect on women or they're not falling for you in ways where you feel this way for them, make sure you check out how to make it happen right here, right now, if you haven't yet. So um, I hate to break these five things too, but I really hope that these are the starting points for you making a difference in the way you interact with women in the way women see you ultimately. And thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.